most people know you for black films and television, you know, television shows and movies. Mm -hmm. And then, um, and a lot of people will say, and they ask a lot of other actors too, who they never see in white films, they'll say, well, how come I never see in white films? You know what I'm saying? Well, what's mm -hmm. up? Are they not seeing you the scripts or, or, or what's going on? Are you not cool with that side? Explain mm -hmm. to the people what's your, what's your journey of, of not being in, in predominantly like white films. Oh, another good question. Um, well, I can only speak for my journey. Uh, I think, I think with me personally, one of the main reasons why I've been featured in so many quote unquote black films mm. or films that are directly targeted to the black demographic yeah. is because studios and casting directors recognize that I have a genuine connection with my people. So <laughs> I, I'm, mm. a, I'm a go-to in that sense. You want to have a film that appeals to the black audience that's relatable, that the black audience will feel comfortable watching. Well, let's put some faces in there that black people are comfortable with. Yeah. Because they can identify with them. Yeah. So, and you know how it is as an actor and as a performer, when a gig comes your way and if it makes sense, mm -hmm. and if it's good work, you're mm -hmm. going to do it. And it just so <laughs> happens that a lot of those opportunities that have been presented to me have been from black producers or black directors that go, hey man, I know you can kill this role. and um, you know, I know the audience will be able to relate to you. Come on in and, and work with us on this. Yeah. And then I think um, when it comes to white producers and what you would call mainstream films. Yeah, exactly. Black, exactly. Like, look, 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 I'm going to take the bullet for him. You know what I'm saying? Don't get on my dog. I'm going to take the bullet. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. no it's all good because we can keep it real because whatever I'm going to say, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not insulting anyone. We just keeping it real because we in the business and we know. Yeah. I mean, man, they pick a select few that they feel <laughs> are marketable. Okay. Safe. <laughs> um, hey, I, I, I like that. I like what you said. <laughs> seriously, though. No, nah, really. Like, marketable. <laughs> safe. Okay. To where they know, like, you, I mean, keeping it real, like. For real, G shit. They'll, they'll, they'll look at, like, They'll look at you like, is this a cat that I want to have in my <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Would, like, I let oh. him date, would I let him date my daughter? Like, hey, is he cool like that? Like, you know, I'm keeping it real. Is he I'm an American is he an American Negro or is he Marshawn Lynch? Right. Right. So you know exactly what I'm <laughs> saying. So, <laughs> so with white producers and with white casting directors, they can be very selective. There is okay. still, as you know, and this is something that all of us as black actors, as colleagues, we discuss amongst ourselves. And when given the opportunity on a grand stage to speak eloquently about it mm -hmm. or speak on, on behalf of it or talk about it, mm. we, ra we raise the point. Yeah. Um, there, there's still a lot of discrimination that we deal with in Hollywood. Mm. Um, but I think that's why you have more of us developing our own content, which was needed. Mm -hmm. That's why you have more of us who are straying from going the more traditional route mm. and generating and building our audiences via streaming platforms, which yeah, at the yeah, end yeah. of the day, you you tend to make more on the back end <laughs> from anyway, without yeah. any studio assistance. Yeah. Um, and I think overall too, it, it, it makes us even hungrier in a sense to go, Okay, well, they won't let us in. Well, I'm going to build my own vehicle and I'm going to make it diverse and I'm going to do something. And it really just, I think at the end of the day, makes us greater yeah. as black performers, even when being challenged or even when it seem like, seems like doors are being closed on us. That just lights the fire even more. And that's why you have people like the Kenya Barrises, hmm. the Lena Waits, the Ava DuVernay's, the Easter, you know, like mm -hmm. that's yeah. why you have those kinds of um very prominent and very strong, like that strong presence that they have in Hollywood yeah, yeah, yeah. behind the scenes because they were those people at one point in time whose scripts were being turned down, mm -hmm. who were told, oh, that's <laughs> too black. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So mm -hmm. now, now that they've been given an opportunity and, and rightfully so, they are unapologetically black. 
Exactly. And what, and what they explain. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I think uh, I think it's a catch-22. Uh, you know, it's unfortunate that it does happen and that we do have to resort to, you know, having to work uh, 10 times harder in order to get our foot through the door. But I also think that's um, the end result of it shows our true brilliance because <laughs> we make it through all of that yeah. and yet we still get our projects out and they're still awesome and they still get recognized. You know what I'm yeah. saying? For for how beautiful uh, and creative and awesome that they are. You know <laughs> what I mean? So yeah. that's just how I feel about it. But I mean, that being said, if there's a white producer looking at this right now, holla at me. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I'll, I'll do your mainstream film. Get at me. Hey, but, holla, uh, holla, 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 holla. Yeah, but, but, but other than that, I mean, I, I don't hold any, uh, I don't hold any I don't, any resentment about that. Like, you know, and I don't feel, I don't feel in any kind of way like I'm being short-sighted or that I'm being overlooked yeah. because as you and I both know, like this is a journey that we're on as artists. Mm -hmm. And, you know, tomorrow I could get a call from, I mean, who knows, but tomorrow I could get a call from Steven Spielberg, see me exactly. in some random shit. Mm -hmm. And he'll say, hey man, I want you to be a part of this film. It could happen yeah. just like that. But For in the real. meantime, I'm just going to continue to enjoy the journey. I'm going to I'm going to continue to embrace the blessings that have been brought in my life whether it's a black film or a mainstream film. And at the end of the day, I'm going to keep entertaining people that rock with me and that fuck with me. And that <laughs> and as long as I got that and I'm able to put food on the table and keep a roof over me and my family's heads, and I ain't got no complaints. <laughs>